As Pinellas County Schools prepare to search for graves from an old African American cemetery on one of its properties, we're taking a deeper look at why it was moved in the first place. Between 350 and 375 graves were supposed to be moved from a cemetery where the old Curtis Fundamental School site sits. But every location the city tried to move the bodies, neighbors pushed back. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow takes a look into the past to explain how we got here today. I'm not surprised by those responses. Court blocks plan for Negro Cemetery. New protest hits Negro Cemetery. The 1950s headlines tell the stories. White residents of Pinellas County would not accept a black cemetery anywhere near their homes. Certain things were accepted. That was the way of life. The city of Clearwater wanted to build a black swimming pool. That meant moving a black cemetery that once existed here at the site of the old Curtis Fundamental School. But when neighbors near Highlands and Rosary and Largo found out the cemetery might be moving there, they feared for their property values. And with a former Pinellas County Sheriff leading the efforts, they went to court for an injunction and won. It's what's still alive and present today segregation. Robert Young owns the Smith Young's funeral home in Clearwater. Back in the day, he worked for the company the city contracted to move the 350 or so bodies. Records show Larkin's funeral home moved those bodies to a cemetery around Dunedin after courts blocked the Largo move. Neighbors there were just as apprehensive. When you see a headline like this, Dunedin area residents protest Negro Cemetery. A lot of them were afraid that this was going to contaminate their water. Mm -hmm. What goes through your mind? Although there are some valid concerns about contamination, that picture is more about a racial concern, my thinking, rather than the contamination. We were less than humans. We were property, and so therefore our cemeteries was of no value either. And so therefore, because we had no value, we could be moved. So painful to think about. Emerald Morrow just confirmed that the city of Clearwater and Pinellas County Schools will be splitting the bill to scan the site for any graves that might be left behind. The city manager says the same firm that helped find graves from Zion Cemetery in Tampa will do the job. Emerald has been working sources on those lost graves for months. You can see all the locations where investigators are checking for possible cemeteries at WTSP.com slash erased.